hey everybody welcome back to the channel i know it's been a minute since i did some videos but i've been kind of busy i've been doing a lot of shopping a lot of ordering offline so i got a bunch of stuff to review and to show y'all online that i got offline first off i want to do my stanley two cup cook set now i know y'all are familiar with this and it's a guy at wayfinder who had a great hack for a new lid for the cat Stanley cook set and all it is is a pickle jar lid a large pickle jar lid and all you do I put a couple of holes in it for a specific reason but it works great as a lid because when you pop it on there it fits right on it sits flat and it almost locks on here I got some weight in here too because I still got my coffee stuff in there. It's my sugar here. You know, that's large sugar. <laughs> Enough for a few cups. So I got my cups in here. You know, that's all I got in here. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. Now, there was another guy who had a great idea of how to hang this pot without drilling holes in it and with the bell handle and all of that stuff. I done seen those things go wrong. I done seen people mess pots up that way. I just don't care for putting no unnecessary holes in there. That's why I waited. So this is what I came up with. The guy had a hack where he used the alligator clips and picture wire and it worked pretty darn good. So I was like, all right. I just didn't care for how, the, how it looked. You know, looks don't mean nothing, but, you know. I just used these steel fishing leaders. Looks nice and clean. Barrel swivels. They clipped right on here. I didn't have to do nothing. I just had to clip them on and lock them. At the other end, it's just another small little key ring. Some stuff I found in the drawer. But the reason I want this is because I want to be able to cook with the lid on sometimes. Guess you got an aggressive fire or be using crazy materials to burn. You know, you never know. Sometimes you want to keep that stuff out your pot. But you see, they clip right on. It makes the spinning this pot really easy. And they hold pretty good. So, once I got done with that, I was like, well, I still got two clips left. So, what I'm going to do with them, just bring them for extra in case something happened to these. And, and I was like, no, you got another cup, stupid. So, here we go. I can hang my cup and my pot. So I can use either one. I can boil water in one or and food in the other. Or if I need a bunch of water, I can have them both going with water. And that's it for the update on the Stanley Cup hacks. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll be putting up another video with some more products real soon.